My name is Poston Tu. I was born in Thailand, no Purabjike. But my parents and my sister were born in Burma. All my relatives are from Burma. Because of the civil war in Burma, my parents have to move to Thailand, no Purabjike. They moved to Thailand, no Purabjike, in 1997. Even when they live in Thailand, Purabjike, they did not have a right to do whatever they want. Also, they did not have enough food to eat. They did not have a right to go out of the cab and find a job. When I live in Thailand, I have a choice to go to school, but I did not have a lot of opportunity to get education. That is why my family decided to come to America. I remember the day my mom told me that we were going to move. It was in 2012. I was very excited when I heard that because I want to come to America. All that night, my family had a celebration and all my friends and family came over. We talked, eat and laughed together. Everyone had a good time. In the morning, I left Thailand. The last thing I saw in Thailand is my house and my cousin. He sat at the front of the house. He was crying and feeling so depressed and the house was empty and lonely. My friend and I cried because we would not see each other anymore. When I got on the aeroplane, I was petrified because I have never been on an aeroplane before. When we were on the aeroplane, my family did not know anything and we did not know how to speak English. I was fearful when the place took off because it made a lot of noise. When I went to the bathroom, I got stuck inside. Then I started to cry and call someone to help me. When they tried to talk to me, I did not know what they would say, so I had to show them by talking with my hands. Then they told me to go back to my seat, and I sit quietly. After that, they both suffered from me. I did not like the food in the aeroplane. The food smelled musty, and also, when I eat those food, I want to throw up. When we were in New York airport, we have no one to continue to tell us the wind how we have to come to Minnesota. We waited there almost one hour and we did not know where we have to go and which aeroplane we need to ride. From a moment, we saw a white man. He was really tall and he wore a blue shirt and black pants. He came to us and showed us where we have to go. We rode the third aeroplane to Minnesota. When I first turned in Minnesota, I feel surprised because it's my first time saw the snow and it was very calm. When we were in the Minneapolis airport, I saw my cousin and son of my friend came to pick her up and waited for us. I was so joyful and we at the same time. Now, I had a good opportunity to get education, have a safe life, good friends, and to have a happy life.